the winner goes to the Sweet 16. Tip controlled by the Polar Bears. Marley Curl to Caputi. Brady cuts through, Brady catches it, lays it up around the rim and in. On the far side, Reed dribbles this way. Harioka, three-pointer, off glass. Kelly, big scoop, Kelly dumps it into Campbell, up and in. Shot clock is off. Vancewich on a drive, up and in, nice move. The Polar Bears curl. Petit for three. Bang. Here's a drive. Fontana skipped it along the baseline to Harioka. High post. Reed. Reed on a drive. Up and good. Caitlin Reed. Hancock in the front court to Kerrigan. NYU gets back. Brady fakes. Around the rim and in, Shannon Brady with the soft touch. Rebound all the way to Curl, four seconds. Curl, Kelly, it'll count. Bang! Abigail Kelly from about 32 feet. Olchu goes to the front court to Harioka. Back to Olchu. On the far side, Reed tees one up. Bang. Kerrigan in the front court. Kelly was checked back in. Brady left baseline, swish. Mentioned that so many knee braces we see. Reed caught in the paint outside to Harioka. Wurtz, change of pace dribble. Far corner to Reed, under 10 on the shot clock. Pyatt, swish, nice touch, Michaela Pyatt. It's underneath, instead goes to her right. Kelly for three, bang! Reed, starts to dribble, backs off. In the corner, nice catch, Cabral. Cabral stops, shoots, and hits, nice touch. Kelly, to curl. Kerrigan for three, bang, and timeout Bowden. Marley Curl picks up Kate Kerrigan and says, I guess you're all right. Hasn't dribbled yet, now she has. Brady comes in, Brady with a little scoop shot is good. Captures it right by midcourt. Seven on the shot clock. Silfen to Brady, Brady up and in. just you know part of what we do is you know typically we're able to attack and finish at the rim or kick out for threes and you know I think it's human nature when you have a few layups that don't go in you tighten up a little bit and I think that's what happened you know we we had a couple kids who were used to making layups who missed a couple layups and um, you know it affected our defense a little bit but then you know I think we just tightened up on offense down the stretch too we just didn't execute defensively and uh, we came off number five in the corner and right, we weren't right. supposed to, you know, and I think um, down the stretch you, you just can't make those sorts of errors. Um, coming off the bench, you just have to have like a spark. Allie and I, uh, we really try to work together and get each other going uh, before we go in. And just like playing against the starters every practice, playing against everybody in practice, um, pushing them, pushing us to like our full potential. Is... Yeah, it was a tough game, but I think on both sides, um, we both knew it was going to be a tough game, and we played with that kind of, we still played with poise and composure even through those moments. So. I mean, I really feel like our, our tough schedule prepared us for, for this moment today. And we knew it was going to be a battle going in. I mean, um, we knew that NYU didn't play um, their game yesterday. But um, I have so much confidence in this group, and um, they've showed so much poise late in the season. Um, and I loved how they kept their composure, and Abby certainly came off the bench and gave us that spark that we needed. Uh, no, I mean, credit the team for really um, maintaining that lead and um, answering back every time they had a, had a big play. Um, and you're absolutely right, if we had allowed it to get close, I mean, they have a second team All-American, you know, um, in 31, um, and four is a good throw up, although I think Shannon did a great job neutralizing her tonight. I mean, I think Shannon deserves so much credit, not only on the offensive end, but on the defensive end. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. You know, I got one foul early on, so I kind of had to play with, like, a real mental focus, knowing that I didn't want to 
get into that kind of game where I was often on the bench the whole game. But um, yeah, I mean, she's a good player. Like we both knew it was going to be a battle, and I think playing against players like that only makes you better, and um, it's motivation. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Huge shot, yeah. Yeah. and just really showed Keith's toughness and her resilience. Um, I mean, when she went down, I think the whole crowd, we had a collective, like, gasp. But um, she is one of the most mentally tough athletes that I have the privilege to coach. And um, it didn't surprise me when she did it, but it was, it was great.